Guys, the patrons have spoken. We're doing Kyle Pitts tonight. Scott, we got a 12-team Superflex PPR 1.75 tight end premium start 10. Are you going Kyle Pitts in the 110 or the 106? Go ahead, man. All right, so we're going to analyze this deal piece by piece. 106 is probably the choice of Roma Dunze or Brock Bowers or J.J. McCarthy. So if you have a need and you are saying, I need to get in range where I can address my need, I can justify taking the 106. However, if it's just purely, I don't care. I'm just looking at the best value. If I'm going to draft Brock Bowers at the 106 and a 1.6 and the 110, and after last Tuesday's stream, you can apparently get a first for any of these picks in the first round. 110, oh my gosh, you should be able to get a first in the second. The way there's going to be 20 good receivers in this class. This is Kyle Pitts in a first for Brock Bowers, who is not taking the extra first there and just playing with the first. So I'm looking at that trade as give me the two pieces very, very easily. Shane, you saw this like 20 seconds before the show as well. You were a little bit, a uh, little bit closer on I the mean, 106 side. Go ahead. No, yeah, I love Scott, but um, he's about a thousand and fifteen percent wrong. Uh, percent wrong here he's valuing kyle pitts as a first round pick kyle pitts hasn't been worth a first round rookie pick since oh, 2022 um my dude uh has shown absolutely nothing got absolutely outplayed by junu smith last year was fighting for targets with him couldn't beat out junu smith Janu smith whatever his name is don't care um pitts might turn out to be a, a tight end eight tight end seven and that's cool getting you those 11 points a week. And I'm sure people feel good about those 11 points a week. Um, and the 110, I think people are saying you could get a first and a second, 25 first and second for next year for, for that pick right now. I haven't seen that trade made, though. That's a lot of talk. It's a lot of smoke. It's a lot of people flapping their gums because people like to flap their gums because that's what they do. People just like to talk. Um, so, Scott, with uh, with Kyle Pitts, you're, you're pretty bullish on him. What is... I guess, where's your head at in terms of is, is a QB save you're going to come or does the market seem to think that a QB is going to come save the day? Why are you bullish, essentially? And then action items. How would we trade for them, trade them away, all the above? Oh, a couple things. I mean, if you just combine his numbers for the first three years of his career, they're they're very good. They're not elite, but he's also a victim of somebody that just started elite. And because he's not elite, well, let's punish him and talk about like he's not good like Shane is. Uh, meanwhile, he would easily be the tight end two in this class, not even close. Uh, he would easily be taken in a 1.75 premium. Real quick, real quick, I would be the tight end three in this class. So I don't uh, give a shit if he'd be the tight end two <laughs> you, in this class. You cut me off before my next point if it's a 1.75 premium. And I think we're anticipating Atlanta to either draft a rookie QB or get Kirk Cousins, which if they get Kirk Cousins... The community sentiment on Kyle Pitts is, Shane, is Kyle Pitts worth a first? To you, no. To the community, if they get Kirk Cousins, Kyle Pitts is tight end three in Dynasty again. Fair or not, and you're going to be selling him probably at that range, but he will be. So I'm willing to take the bet right now that he lands on his feet, perception-wise, but his production is still, like you said, okay, he's tight end eight, he's tight end nine. Like, it doesn't kill me. But I also have this window where I'm going to want some Kyle Pitts over the next month or so. Plus, I'm getting a free first out of it. Whether I can get a 25 first and second or whatever for that pick is different a different story. story. But guess yeah. what? It's in my war chest now, and I can go spam that offer to see if I can do it. Shane, yes. same format. 12-team Superflex PPR 1.75 tight end premium start 10. Kyle Pitts or Tank Dell? Oh, I am taking Tank. I take Tank all day. Scott will, too. Unless he's just being argumentative with me tonight. What do you think? 1.75, you going Pitts or Dell? I, I'll tell you what. In a 1.75, in the next month, guess who I'm probably going to be Pitts. able to move. I think there's a good argument that it's Pitts. If they get Kirk Cousins, you will be able to go get Tank Dell for Kyle Pitts. 100%. Yes. Now, yeah. Does that mean I want Kyle Pitts on 10 teams come opening day? Not necessarily. But I do want him, and I think there's a reason his value is starting to rise, and I don't think it's unfounded. Yeah. Here's the problem, right? Say you do get some Kyle Pitts, and, and then, let's see, Kirk Cousins doesn't join him. It's Russ Wilson, and, and you're just stuck with him. I'm fine I'm with that. Saying, It'd be fine. You're fine with that. that he, Russ Wilson's just older Desmond Ritter, but you're okay with that? I, all that matters, and, here, and here's – 
No, no. Here's no. Here's to Shane's point. You need to have the discipline because any QB that's not a rookie that goes to Atlanta, people are going to pump up Kyle Pitts. You need to have the discipline to go. Okay, I'm going to honestly assess Kirk Cousins versus Russell Wilson versus Baker Mayfield versus whoever. You need to be able to honestly assess it and have the discipline to move some Kyle Pitts. Right, you, like you can't just go blindly. He's a great tight end. He gets a legitimate NFL QB, and he's going to smash. You have to have the discipline to go. All right, I'm going to sell some because this is a good class to get the return that I can get because they just have a veteran QB. Yeah, you want to have the exposure. Five forty-two. Right. I still have ten seconds. Hold on. So, but the problem with, that I was saying is, if he, then he gets a horrible quarterback, and you're stuck with him, and you can't sell him. It doesn't matter how disciplined you are because no one wants him. Bye. Bye.